All right, I want to go over um, a new demo I did for um, uh, live data, just because it's a little confusing and the, uh, the previous demos may be a little confusing. So this is called Filter Clock, and it, it's, you know, it's pretty simple. It, it just has this uh, recycler view with you know, our list of albums, and then there's this button, and when you click it, um, oh look, only the good, it says only good, it, it filters the list, so only the good albums are there click it again, it goes back to this state. And then and this is not a very functional app. This is just sort of a, a pedagogical app, as we like to say. Uh, and this is uh, the number of seconds that um, in the minute that is currently. Um, <laughs> okay, not not too uh, expressive today. So and then, you know, it's got the, the standard sort of um, this, this is a uh, standard um, Recycler view adapter that I just uh, uh, reused. Okay, so that's it. That, that's all that's going on. And you know, you might think to yourself, well, you know, we built this kind of functionality before. Uh, what do we need uh, live data for? And well, you know, the, the, this sort of updating area is, is kind of new. But uh, this filtering and even the button color we're going to see is done in, in kind of a different way. So let's uh, let's say goodbye to this, and let's let's just take a, a quick look at the easy things. Let's take a, a quick look at um, our you know main layout, which is just uh, what you what you expect, uh, which is um, oh, great. Um, a um, oh uh, sorry, this is, the main layout is just is just a fragment. And then the fragment layout is um, the button and the um, uh, seconds, and then a recycler view for the rest of the of, of the space. So you know everything we've seen um, for the row. Uh, you know we we have the same row. I changed the emoticons. I tried to get like more reasonable emoticons, and the whole the whole thing sort of shows up in this little bit sort of like colorless. Uh, theme. I, I don't quite know why I, I generated a new theme and it, it had like zero color. Okay, so there, there's there's very little going on in the uh, in the layouts. Um, there's uh, not that much going on in the navigation graph. We just have a, a fragment. So you know, I just I did that also mostly for pedagogical reasons. Um, you know, just to sort of show you again and again. Um, now we do have a view model, and so the view model in live data is really where where things are happening. Um, and let, let's not get into that for a second. Um, but you know, this uh, uh, main activity mostly is normal, except for this coroutine thing, which is how we get the seconds. So um, I'll go over that in a minute. Uh, you know, this menu stuff. Everything is is sort of standard, standard, uh, standard nav controller. Sort of, we're all uh, we're all good here. Um, Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's actually take a look at the uh, fragment. And the fragment does the same binding thing that we always do. And it does grab the view model or, you know, let's, let, let, let's take a look at the view model. So the view model, uh, it holds our state and then it exports live data. And that's, that's really the idea is that um, it knows, it, it, it is the ultimate authority on what the state of our app is. And if you want to know what the state of the app is, you need to observe some live data. Um, and we have one piece of live data here, which is the list of, uh, of albums. Okay, and that, that, that was the thing where before we always just sort of got it from the repository, but now we're filtering it. And so we're wrapping it in this live data and it's mutable live data because we do change it. And if people want to observe it, uh, clients want to observe it, views want to observe it, they get a live data uh, object and they get a live data object even though the underlying object is mutable. And this is uh, uh, Kotlin does the cast for you. And uh, even though inside the view model, we can change this object outside the view model, you can't. And that's, that's good sort of engineering practice. So this is just a list of data. And then there's also a, a Boolean that we have. And we also have live data Boolean. And this is a little bit weird because up to this point, the view has sort of been keeping track of the state. 
and sort of changing its color based on the state. And that's, that's been fine. But we now really want to put the data in the view model. And that includes uh, even the state of the, um, the good filter toggle. So uh, I should maybe call this only, only good. Um, no, whatever. Because that, that, that seems a little more expressive. And we're doing the same thing. This is mutable here. And when you observe it, you only get the read-only version. And then uh, we, we have a, a public uh, function here, which is just toggle. So you don't even get to know what state you're in. Um, but when the user presses it, uh, they, um, they toggle it. And so that's all that the view model has to expose is a toggle function. And then if you care what the state is, uh, you... Um, um, subscribe to you, you observe the live data. And so just let's just look at this one thing because we've implemented this kind of button before. And now we're implementing it in kind of a totally different way, even though the functionality is the same. And it's kind of a good way of, of wrapping your head around live data. So let's just look at this button. Okay. And ask yourself this question. In the view, when I set an on-click listener on that button, what is that on-click listener going to do? Is that on-click listener going to change the background color? The answer is no. That on-click listener is going to call toggle filter good. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look. So blah, 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 blah. We set up our... Um, uh, recycler view, just like we, just like we always do. And here we go. Only good is the name of, of this button. And the on click listener just toggles the state of, uh, filter good or, uh, let's say, God, toggle, uh, toggle only good. Okay. So how do we change the color of this button? Oh, let's look here. Uh, we also, in addition to setting this on click listener, we also set an observer on some live data that we get from the view model. So we want to observe only good. We call observe, we pass it the view lifecycle owner, which is uh, a sort of a global variable you get within the fragment that just says like, when my fragment dies, get, get rid of, stop observing. And what we get to observe is changes in this Boolean state. And then we say, hey, if this Boolean is true, let's set the background color to green. And if it's false, let's set it to red. <clears throat> okay, so here you see we used to sort of put this logic in the set on click listener. And look, sometimes maybe you have to do that. But if we really want to put all the state in the view model, the view model knows whether we're filtering for only good. And then the view model tells us if we should be filtering for only good, and then we take action based on that. And this, that's the same uh, situation with the list. So, you know, normally we would sort of grab the list and then uh, submit it to the adapter. But here, we're observing the list from the view model, and only when it changes do we submit it to the adapter. So this is quite, this is um, uh, a simple, uh, you know, anytime the list changes, we just, we just send it to the adapter. Now, the, the one sort of thing that we do have to do here is if we don't initially submit uh, an entire list and we run this, uh, there's no, there's nothing in the recycler view. And then as soon as we start filtering, oh, the recycler view gets fill, uh, filled in. Why is that? Because without this, we're waiting for a change. And when the app starts, there is no change. Um, you know, you could, uh, you know, you could have a view model, like a view model method saying initialize your list or something. Uh, but there's no change that's happening. So uh, we have a, a, a call here to initialize the adapter to the entire list. That's why we see the entire list. Yeah, you know, this, this, yeah, I mean, you know, this is sort of software engineering, but you know, you could argue that uh, instead of doing this, we should have something like, um, 
you know, a model and, and yet list. And uh, let's go in here and we'll have a and uh, oh, uh, whoops. Dana, oh, uh, uh, no, 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 this is returns nothing. Returns nothing. Okay, let's see, let's see if that works. That does work. Uh, arguably, that's better. Um, because you know, then, uh, you know, we don't call repository dot data list outside of the view model. The view model is, is really in charge of, uh, of the contents. Okay, and you know, logically, this sort of makes sense. We're setting up some observers, we're initializing the list. Okay, so, you know, definitely check this out. Uh, the um, background color is being changed by a live data observer, <coughs> not in the on click listener. So understand that. And then, you know, we, we do have this, this list that, you know, we can scroll and interact with normally. And then the only other thing that I'll sort of mention here is that uh, we're being uh, a little fast and loose with live data uh, in the beginning, um, and that and, and what I mean by fast and loose here is that uh, no, is that um, we're just sort of grabbing this uh, value and setting it. And the the great thing about live data is that you can have multiple threads in your application that are accessing live data, but only threads that are on uh, only the main thread can access the value directly. So you might not totally understand this. We haven't talked that much about threading, but we're going to talk a little bit about it. And uh, the um, sort of important thing you need to know is there's the thread that's in charge of the display. That's the main thread, and it needs to be very fast. And then there are other threads. <coughs> now, Android gives you I.O. threads, and it gives you background threads, um, but those those are both background threads, but they're, it's a sort of hint to Android as to what kind of thread they are. So what, I, what I'm doing here is in main activity, I'm starting a background thread. And we've seen this in the homeworks if, you, if you've been paying attention. So this just says uh, launch an independent uh, coroutine, independent thread. And at this point, we're not even saying what kind of thread it is. And uh, we're calling uh, this coroutine seconds. And that has this keyword suspend. So that means it's coroutine. And here we're saying, you know what? Let's execute this on a background thread. Now, if this were uh, dispatchers.main, that would be on the main thread. So there's, you know, main IO and unconfined. So you can read about that, but uh, we're going to put it on the background. And then uh, while this thread is active, every uh, one fifth of a second, it is going to uh, call this uh, function in the view model to set <coughs> uh, the uh, set number of seconds. So we're calling, we're getting an instance of uh, calendar, and we're getting the the second, the current second, and we're just formatting it, and then we're sending it to our view model. And so there's this background thread that's constantly calling the view model, telling it how many seconds have passed or what the number of seconds is currently. And when we look at this, um, when we set it, we actually have to call post value. But we have to call post value because we're calling this on a background thread. So if we don't do this uh, and we run, uh, we, get, we get very unhappy. soon. Hello? Oh, oh, uh, I'm so unhappy that um, I didn't even realize how unhappy I was. Um, and that is uh, here. Um, so oh boy, this is uh, really terrible. Um, uh, illegal state exception cannot invoke set value on a background thread. Okay, so again, the, you know, the error messages are, are, are excellent. But you know, we can't just uh, uh, calling post value is really the safe way to manipulate live data. Okay, because it might it might be coming from another thread.
but hopefully, and then, you know, this, this is just the, this filter list is just, um, you know, going through the uh, data in the filter. And if the only good, um, filter is active, if, if this value is true, then we check the rating and only, and if the rating is not good, then, you know, we filter it out. And if the rating is good, uh, we let it through. That's how we actually get this. Um, that's how we get the, uh, the only good behavior here filtering. It filters out the, the rest of this list. And when we, um, when the only good filter is false, we, uh, we don't filter anything. We just return true for all of our calls to this filter function, which returns all of the elements of this list, which is all of the elements in the repository, which is this entire list of albums. So in this repository is quite simple. It's the same thing we've seen. And in, in this case, I, I just, I just grabbed the, I made the, I made the data list public and grab it. Okay. So hopefully this sort of shows you what's going on with live data and that now uh, we're trying to keep all our state in the view model and our views are, are observing the live data that's coming out of the view model. All right. Thanks.